2 is a sequel to the award-winning and popular Overlord 1, where you experience the story of the Overlord and command hordes of evil minions to conquer the world which is much more evil, corrupt and shittier than Overlord could ever become. No wait, wrong title. Retry! Overlord 2 is a sequel to the popular Overlord 1, where you experience the story of the Overlord and him commanding hordes of evil minions to conquer the world which is much more evil, corrupt and shittier than Overlord could ever become. I have a strange sense of deja vu. The adventures of Momonga continue following from the last time where he killed one of his minions that was mind controlled and I can't remember if I rambled about the show or not and not like it matters anyway, you've downloaded this track, you probably know what's it about anyway. The story of Overlord 2 is divided into two arcs, the Lizardman arc and the Eight Finger arc as I like to call them. The first one is about a bunch of Lizardman tribes that live their Lizardman life, have Lizardman sex and in general this was my favorite part of the show. Japanese know how to make entertaining Lizardmen. The characters were likable and the overall action was quite fun to watch, even though I had more desire to watch a Lizardman slice of life show or play some Lizardman RTS more than watch Overlord afterwards. The second is about how the stereotypical warrior butler saved a whore with syphilis and a torn asshole and how this led Ainz to massacre an entire underground mafia. I am dead serious right now. This part was worse than the Lizardman one, why so I'll try to describe a bit later. The graphics in general were pretty decent even though some of the shots were lame. The action was enjoyable as I said, the music was pretty good especially the new opening though the sound design left a sour impression on me. I am not sure if that's just the copy or the anime itself but through episodes 8-10 the music often was louder than the voice actors and this was irritating. There are however severe problems with this anime in terms of narrative. The biggest problem and a thing that will probably make a lot of people angry is that for most of the show we don't see Momonga doing anything. I mean sure, he's there, he talks a lot and occasionally contemplates on things, but compared to the first season where he hugged a bitch to death, the second season has little to no real action worth a damn and instead we are forced to watch the adventures of Anu Barak and Valkenhayn are Helsing over here that in comparison are fucking boring. The main shtick of the protagonists is that they are so ridiculously overpowered that almost everything they do comes out as theatrical. Look no further than the episode where Ainz makes his declaration to Lizardmen. This is fun! This is what people expected from the show, yet instead we have the adventures of Mr. Strong male protagonists over here that do everything efficiently and on their power level being efficient is being boring. At least in Lizardmen arc we spend more time with actual Lizardmen, so Anu Barak and Ainz genuinely come out as villains impossible to defeat. In case of Valkenhayn there is no sense of imminent danger, no sense that he will fail and how could he? He is so powerful that his combat scenes give no satisfaction, this was to be expected. And you know that something's gone wrong when the most entertaining scene in the whole arc was when that Ronin type guy finally managed to slip Shaltier's nail with his sword. This should not be as satisfying as it was. So since our main protagonists are overpowered as fuck, the show tries to mitigate this by having more screen time dedicated to less overpowered fucks. In case of Lizardmen this works because they are charismatic, but the rest of the characters are either annoying as shit or a carbon copy of the stuff we already saw in the first season. I hated every single part where that princess was in because not only this is cliche as fuck, but also as a character she clearly overplays her role while others are too stupid or loyal to notice. And finally the cardinal sin of anime storytelling, the overly long dialogues. The characters talk and talk and talk and talk, sometimes it's interesting, other time it's boring and can take you out of the experience. The worst example of this was in the Lizardman arc, the second episode I think, where the Lizardman protagonist says something among the lines of remember the lost war and everyone goes yes, how can we forget the lost war and then he goes into explaining everything about the last war. This was made so that the viewer understood what the fuck is happening, but to me this is clumsy and takes you out of the experience almost immediately, which is bad because you stop caring about it the moment you understand that everything is fake. Overall I had a strange experience with this anime. On one hand I enjoyed it for what it was and as a sequel it's a good show, but people who expect this to be a continuation of the first season will probably be more disappointed than Charles de Gaulle would be disappointed of current French leadership. Mm.